Yahuchanan, John 10. Amen, amen, I say unto you, he that enters not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbs up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that enters in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he puts forth his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spoke Yahusha unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spoke unto them. Then said Yahusha unto them again, Amen, amen, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, sees the wolf coming, and leaves the sheep, and flees. And the wolf catches them, and scatters the sheep. The hireling flees because he is a hireling, and cares not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knows me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore does my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. There was a division, therefore, again amongst the Yahudim for these sayings. And many of them said, He has a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him? Others said, These are not the words of him that has a devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? And it was at Yerushalayim, the feast of Chanukah, and it was winter. And Yahusha walked in the temple in Shalomah's porch. Then came the Yahudim round about him and said unto him, How long do you make us to doubt? If you be Hamashiach, tell us plainly. Yahusha answered them, I told you, and ye believed not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them to me, is greater than all and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are Yachad. Then the Yahudim took up stones again to stone him. Yahusha answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? The Yahudim answered him, saying, For a good work we stone you not, but for blasphemy because that you, being a man, make yourself eth Elohim. Yahusha answered them, Is it not written in the writings? I said, Ye are Elohim. If ye call them Elohim, unto whom the word of Yahweh came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, You blaspheme, because I said, I am the Son of Elohim? If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, 
Believe the works that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand and went away again beyond the Ardan into the place where Yahuchanan at first immersed. And there he abode. And many resorted unto him and said, Yahuchanan did no miracle, but all things that Yahuchanan spoke of this man were true, and many believed on him there.